What's up, everybody? Leo, Irish Zombie Nation. I am back with an outdoor arena review today, and this is on a machete. And this isn't any ordinary, standard, run-of-the-mill, go-down-to-Walmart or Dick Sporting Goods machete. This machete is the LT Wright Overland Machete. Look at that bad boy. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Been playing with it for about a month now. Been chopping down all kinds of brush and goodies to just clear out camp and I love this sucker. Let's go over the specs real quick on it, get that out of the way. We are looking at 19 inches overall from tip to tip, 12 inches on the cutting edge here. We've got uh, 1075 high carbon steel. That uh, high carbon steel has a two step patina on the blade here to prevent rusting and it is doing a pretty good job of it from what I can see. We've got natural bead blasted micarta scales. Now, from what I saw on LT's website, these are offered in a different pattern as well. You don't have to have just this rounded style. There's another pattern with grooves in it. Uh, we got uh, two fisheye pins here. We've got a little, let's see, lanyard hole here and here. I imagine, I'm not sure what the top one's for. I guess you could attach it to a, to a stick, make a giant spear or something. I'm not really sure what that one is for. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We've got a uh, shot cord on the lanyard here. It comes with that, so it secures it really nice to your hand. Convex grind on this sucker. Uh, I think that is about it on the specs. I believe so. Now, uh, I received this uh, to go into the outdoor arena, so it's going to go from member to member all over the country. We're getting into the uh, fall months, so there's going to be a wide variety of different environments this sucker is going to go through. Right now, it is about... 50 degrees, I'd say, in the Midwest out here. A nice sunny day. Uh, I got camp set up for the most part. I need to clear out a little bit of brush, and I need to find a spot to hang my pack. And I think I found a spot, and I'm going to use this Overland machete here to help me out with it. So thanks for joining me. Let's get a little work done with this sucker. All right, so I need to clear out a little bit of brush here and make a path back to where I'm going to have my latrine for this camping trip. So let's see uh, where we can go and where this will lead us. Uh, of course, it's all uphill. That out of the way. Slice right through that sucker. There we go. Definitely want to use the lanyard, shot cord lanyard on this because you can already tell that one about slipped out of my hand. Done with that. Look at that. This goes right through. Very easy. I hear somebody somewhere back here. Hopefully I'm not going to be crapping where someone is walking. <laughs> That one's not wanting to go. There we go. Hopefully I'm keeping this camera as steady as possible. There we go. All right, my opening is right over. Oh, there we go. Right over here. One more, and I think I'm at my opening. There we go. A little cut right there. That's how she does. Oh, if I can zoom in. I not wanting to zoom in, but you can see the cut. All right, nice little open area right here. Tree I can lean against or grab hold of. Thanks to the LT Wright Overland Machete for finding me a place to do my business. All right, I found a branch, a little dead branch hanging off the backside of the tree here, right next to where I've got my hammock set up. So if I just take some of this stuff off, I should be good to hang on this larger piece here. Look at that. No problem. Let's see if I can get it from this angle. There we go. Oop. Tore that off just a little bit, but there we go. Now let me get my pack. There we go. Nice little stick to hang my pack. Machete did a good job of getting rid of those extra limbs for me. So as you can see, the LT Wright Overland Machete did its job, cut through some brush so I could find a latrine, and that's what it's made for, cutting through brush. Also chopped some small limbs off so I could hang my pack. Let me tell you a little bit about the sheath now. 
I can't tell you anything about the sheaths because the one that I received, I don't believe is the one that you are able to get anymore. This might be an option, but I don't believe it is. Uh, from what I saw on LT's website, you now get a quick release Kydex sheath, which looks pretty cool actually. Uh, the one that I got was a leather dangler style sheath, just slipped right in. And then it has a little section right here, a little hook. So you can take that shock cord, hook it around, if I can get it hooked around, hook it around there. And now she's not coming out of there. I really like this leather sheath, and if he still uh, has that as an option, you might want to pick this up if you're into the more traditional style, not into everything being Kydex. I personally like this one. So, who is this going to next? I don't know, but if you want to find out, go to theoutdoorarena.com, and you will see on our website the next person in line to get this when their video comes up. Now, I have yet to come across anything that LT Wright has uh, sent me that I have not liked. This is just top quality, handmade in the USA, just good old good stuff right here. I just love it. So uh, thanks for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe. Be sure to check out the Outdoor Arena and follow this as well as all of our other items through the arena. And I think that is it for me today. So until next time, I'll see you around the fire.